In the previous video, we saw a very small example where we had only five forms, but we had to compute efficiency scores every time separately for each form. Now what we would, we would try to do is we would try to automate it using index function. So for this example, where we have names of the companies, ownership group, output, we have only one output here and we have four inputs, wages, raw material expenses, energy and capital. In this example, what we would do is we would use an output oriented DEA approach using VRS assumption. And what we would try to do is we would try to semi automate it so that we it becomes easier to compute the scores, technical efficiency scores for each firm. So let us start. Let us look at the function again, but let us look at uh, uh, this slide again, where we compute technical efficiency in DEA using output oriented approach, where technical efficiency is one upon P and where the linear programming is read as phi, where we have objective function is to maximize phi. The maximum phi is called as phi star and subject to constraint lambda j y j greater than equal to phi y zero lambda j x j less than equal to x zero lambda j is equal to one. This constraint is for the VRS assumption variable return to scale. Lambdas are non-negative and phi is unrestricted. Now using this linear programming for computation of DEA, we will use this example to demonstrate it. Okay. So first we need is lambda or you can call it as weights and I set the initial value of lambda as zero. Okay. Here we have data for 141 forms. So we have 141 forms. It's a huge data set. So it's very difficult to calculate for each form. So we would try to automate it a little bit. I specify the unit number. Say, let us say we want to calculate for unit number one. So unit number one is jute and jute products of central government commercial enterprise. The name is Burst jute and export. We would need sum of lambdas, sum of weights. For that, we would give command of sum and select the array of weights. So sum is nothing but it is total of lambda weights. We need phi. Let us set the initial value of phi to one. I Excel will solve it further for us. And technical efficiency, which is one by phi. We give it as one divided by select the cell with phi. Now let us set our linear programming. I copy the headings. Left hand side, right hand side. Okay, again, left hand side of the first constraint is lambda j y j, that is multiplication of weights into output. So we will write on the left hand side some product of output, comma, lambda weights. Now these lambda weights are going to remain same for inputs as well. So what we can do is we can press F4 so that the array of lambda would be fixed. Press enter and you can simply drag it across other inputs. Okay. So I think. Uh, Here also F4 and drag it across the inputs. So what we have for wages is wages multiplied by lambda weights. For raw material is raw material multiplied by lambda weights and similarly for energy and capital. Now this is an output oriented approach. On the right hand side you would see there is phi multiplied by Y0. Y0 is output of respected form or output of 
form under observation so here it would be phi multiplied by we want output of form number 1 so here i would use a command index where we select the array of output comma and we specify which number so unit number 1 which number of unit we want to see close the bracket so it would be phi multiplied by output and unit number 1 if i change this to unit number 2 the uh, this right hand side would take unit number 2 from the array of output okay so let us keep it at unit number 2 index for okay for inputs for input constraint the right hand side is x0 that is the inputs for the form under observation so for that we would use index command array of wages comma we specify the cell with unit number so it would automatically take wages of you form number 2 okay now if we want we can fix the unit J2 that is the cell containing the unit number by pressing F4 and we can drag it across other inputs. Okay, so you would get complete array of inputs here. Now you simply have to change units for unit number three, unit number one, unit number hundred, and so on. Okay, let us keep it at unit number one or two as you may like right now. so what we have done is we have set our linear programming here now we go to solver this is an output oriented approach so we need to maximize the value of phi so in the objective cell we select the cell with phi maximize by changing the cells we need to change the lambda weights and phi this is our solution variables subject to constraint add constraint first constraint is output greater than or equal to the right hand side the left hand side greater than equal to right hand side add inputs here there are four inputs so i select the array of inputs less than equal to right hand side of inputs add we are using vrs so sum should be that is sum of weights lambda should be equal to 1 click on okay select simplex linear programming and solve okay. so you get a fee of 2.086 and technical efficiency which is 1 by fee of 0.479 this is vrs assumption if you want to do crs assumption you simply have to remove the sum is equal to 1 constraint say let us say we want to see for unit number 3 so in this cell where unit number is contained write 3 go to solver and click on solve again so you will get value for unit number 3 so on say for you want for unit number 100 go to solver and solve so you get values for unit number 100 so this is kind of semi automation where we use index function so that we don't have to repeat writing inputs and outputs of form under observation again and again in the next video what we will do is we will try to make a table where using macros or visual basic automation we would in a go automate it fully and we would get a table with all the fees for all the forms In, uh, we will see that in the next video